Hello all, welcome back. This is Cristobal Diana from Trinity Software. In this video, let's see how to make a to-do app with Python. So we will create a to-do list with the Flask SQL Alchemy. SQL Alchemy is a library which provides a good Pythonic way of interacting with databases like SQLite, MySQL and Postgres. So with this SQL Alchemy, we can make queries and handle data using Python objects and methods. And Flask SQL Alchemy is a Flask extension to make its use easier in the Flask application. So in our tutorial, we will use SQLite database. Python has built-in support for SQLite. To start with, we have to install Flask and then Flask SQL Alchemy using these commands in the command prompt. pip install Flask and pip install Flask hyphen SQL Alchemy. After this, we are going to build our to-do app using SQLite database by creating routes, templates and some CSS style. Let's create a directory first in PyCharm projects folder. New directory. Let us name it as to-do flask. Here, create a Python file called app. If you are new to flask applications, you can go through this tutorial which I have given in the description below. Let us build your first Python web app with the Flask and MySQL. It's a tutorial for beginners who are learning Flask. Now let's import Flask class from Flask. Then import render underscore template, request, redirect and URL underscore form. So we'll be using all these things. And then from Flask SQL Alchemy, import SQL Alchemy class. Now let's create an app instance. App equal to flask double underscore name. Okay. Then we need to set some configuration parameters for our database. App.config SQL Alchemy underscore database underscore URL. I'm setting this to SQLite colon and to denote the relative path three slashes db.sqlite then we can also set sql alchemy track modifications sql alchemy track modifications it is set to false by default it is true i'm setting it to false so that you can disable tracking and use less memory then let's create an object of sql alchemy class name it as db equal to sql alchemy pass this app as an argument fine now we need to create the to do model class which inherits from the base class db.model class to do model it is inherited from db.model class this actually represents the to do table this model to do model needs three entries first one is a task id so for each and every to do task there must be a unique id then the name of the task and the third entry will be the status whether the task is done or not so let's define that task underscore id equal to use db dot column class to define the columns for the table the first argument represents a column type it's going to be integer db dot integer and an optional second argument setting this task id is a primary key so primary underscore key is set to true and it will assign unique value for each and every entry of task then the second column is name of the task so i'm giving db dot column and column type is db dot string also mention how many characters i'm setting it to 100 okay the third one is a status it is denoted as done it will be either true or false right so i'm using db dot column it takes the argument db dot boolean okay then we need to create the root and the template to display all the items in the database on the home page so for each url we have to create a function and decorate it with at app dot root and within the argument we should give the path to the url here i'm just giving only slash because this is going to be our start page under this we are going to create a home view function 
to display all the entries of the to do table. The result is stored in this variable to do underscore list. We are going to query the database and get all the items of the to do table with the query attribute. So to do table dot query attribute all function will display all the items of the table. Okay. Then pass this query result to your template. Okay. So return render underscore template. The first argument will be the template. We will design it soon. Let me name it as base dot html template name. The second argument I can just pass this query result to this template base dot html using keyword argument. So to do underscore list equal to to do underscore list. Fine. Next we need to write function for adding a new task. So decorator at app dot root. Here give add as the path and then the methods should be defined as post. Okay. Whenever we handle the get and post request, we have to add that in the decorator app.root method. And post is used to send the HTML form data to the server. Now let's define the function add. Get the name of the task from the template. Okay, I'm just going to design the template with the form. So that can be retrieved in a variable called the name. Request.form.get method. That is the name of the task is passed here okay now you have to create the object so it is new underscore task equal to class to do first argument is name equal to name we are not giving the task id because it will be uniquely generated automatically and done this uh, boolean data type by default it is set to false now we have to add this object to the session using db.session.add method so that it is returned to the database. So I'm using db dot session dot add method. So this new underscore task will be added to the database. This will issue an insert statement, but we will be getting task ID only when the database transaction is committed. So to commit the transaction and apply changes to the database, we have to use db dot session dot commit method. Okay. After this, let's redirect to a specified URL. So the URL is specified dynamically using URL underscore for home view function. Then we have some more options. In the home function, we are displaying everything. In add function, we are adding a new task. Then other two options in crude are updation and deletion. So let me create a function for update at app.root slash update slash whenever you are updating something you should mention the id for which the updation to be performed with this uh, format by default the variable will be set to string value so to convert it to the required value int colon let me specify it as to do underscore id okay you define the function df update we are passing the id as an argument to do underscore id now what we are supposed to do in this update function update its status by default when you are creating the task we are setting it to false so after some time you may set that as uh, done the work is done or completed so in that case you can change it to true or you can change it back to false so to do equal to to do dot query attribute here i am using the get method the argument passed in here is to do underscore id so this will retrieve the specific entry using its primary key in to do. So from this to do change done column. So if it is false you have to change it to true or if it is true you have to change it to false. So not operator to do dot done. Then as usual you can just give db dot session dot commit method. Uh, finally you have to redirect to the home page itself. So let me give return redirect URL for home. Okay. And the last function is you have to do the process for deletion. Copy this instead of update. Let me give delete. You can delete only by giving the particular ID. So function name is delete. We are getting the entry from its ID. And then here we just want to delete that complete entry. So we can use delete method db.session.delete 
the argument passed as this to do and the remaining thing is same db.section.commit and then you are returning to the home page okay fine and finally if double underscore name equal to double underscore main double underscore app dot run okay till now we have not created the db for creating the database we need a function called uh, create underscore all that we will be doing in the python interactive shell later so now app dot run okay now we need to create the template let me name it as base we have already given the name here in the home function we have given base dot html so this base dot html must be created in a folder called templates create a templates templates under templates we need to create a html file base file okay title changed as to do app here let me place everything inside the div heading h1 to do list now we need to get the task to be done from the user so i am using form tab action is equal to slash add method will be post inside this div let me use a label it is enter the task and then that can be obtained from input tab you have to mention the type to text and the name setting it to name itself since we have used name there so it will be like enter the task and then the input text box will be there after that you need a button right so button type is equal to submit and you can name it as add task okay after the form is closed just add to break tags now let me create a table to display task id name status and then the two operations update and delete so let me give a table i am not bothered about the table head i will directly go to the table body here inside this use a jinja for loop i have already mentioned about jinja templating in the previous tutorial of flask you can go through it so this jinja for loop can be used to go through each entry in the to do list variable that we have passed from the home view function here this to do list variable okay the jinja template will be percentage for a variable to do in to do underscore list percentage and this curly brackets so inside this we have to display the task id name and the status of completion so you have to give tr td first one will be the task id so to do dot task underscore id we close it then to do dot name and third column will be status whether it is done or not so i am including an if condition here percentage if to do dot done equal to false in that case the td is set as not done else else we need not mention the condition just give it is done and finally you should give end if for this percentage percentage end if percentage okay then uh, fourth column for updating a particular task so td we have to tag href is equal to slash update slash and then you have to give to do dot task underscore id okay. before closing the tag give this option update okay similarly for deletion for deletion you have to call delete function to do dot task id and delete okay that's it we have mentioned all the options in the table so after closing slash tr just give percentage end for percentage that's it now let's execute it okay so before running our app we should call db dot create underscore all we have to use a flask shell to create the database on the to do table based on the to do model so initially go to this to do underscore flask then give flask 
shell which will open an interactive python shell from here we can call create underscore all method which is the method of sql alchemy class so before that from here from app we need to import the db which we have created then db dot create underscore all function note that this will not recreate or update the table if it already exists we are creating it for the first time okay it is created so come out of the interactive shell now run the app flask run the server is not running here so you can open it okay we got an error let's check what is the error again okay, base.html in line number 23 i made a mistake if total are done equal to it should be double equal here i missed the double equal we are checking the condition so let's run it again open it now again we got an error in the template syntax error line number 28 okay this double quotes should be given here okay now we got it so to do list is the h1 heading and we have the label and enter the task you can enter task here send email to colleague add task task id is given and then the task name by default the status is not done and you have two options update and edit if you press update it is changed to done again whenever you press update it is changed from done to not done or not done to done Okay, you can add more task okay if you want you can also delete a particular task delete the second id when you're adding a new task design website add task okay now this presentation is very simple we have not used any css here you can add some css styling to it and that can be done by creating a style.css file so whenever you have some css file that should be placed in a folder called static so inside to do flask we create a directory called static and a static we create a file called style.css so i have added css for the base.html file also have updated base.html file to include this file name style.css from the static directory okay now let me run it again here got the total list in a neat way so these are the task ids name task status if you want you can delete a particular task that's it about creating a to-do list with the python flask thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe